Alright, so what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another. Yo, we're starting up a new My GM series. I plan on finishing up my Sacramento Kings one probably towards the end of this week and kind of going into next week. I do plan on finishing up my Sacramento Kings My GM, and I do want to start one with the with the New York Knicks. And I thought, why not the best time to start one? would be during spring break where for these first couple of episodes I can really set down the entire foundation for this series but yo, if you guys enjoy this series and want to see episode number two make sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video yo, episode two drops at 210 likes so yo like it up hit, hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new and share the videos but yo we got the New York Knicks now like my two recent my GMs with the Mavericks and with the Kings this will be a realistic one but I, I just feel like when it's completely too realistic it's boring like I, I think it's boring because we barely make any trades we are pretty much just playing games and just simming seasons and I really want to spice this thing up so I do want to make it realistic but not a hundred percent I want to make a few more trades I'm not gonna be I'm not going to be finessing every single team, nothing like that. These are the settings I am going to be using. But, yo, like I said before, realistic series. It's, it's going to be a fun kind of realistic series. I'm going to try to go 50 episodes like I did with my Dallas Mavericks one with this series. And unlike all of the rest of those series, we already have our clear-cut superstar on this team in Kristaps Porzingis. Now, just getting into the backstory of why I chose the Knicks. Yo, so many people requested in the last video, yo, do, do the Knicks. Do the Knicks. And honestly, at first, I was like, I kind of want to do the uh, Chicago Bulls. But at the end, I did choose the New York Knicks. I think that they have everything in place. They have Chris Stops. They got, they got some young guards here in Emmanuel Moutier, uh, Frank Nielakina, and Trey Burke has been awesome. Like, honestly, I think that none of those guys are our future. And the only person that is completely untouchable is is Kristaps, but since I am going to be keeping this realistically, no one is, they are not trading Frank, they are not going to be trading Frank, they are not going to be able to like trade Joakim Noah, uh, Moutier, he might be on the block, but we're going to try to go ahead and keep him, uh, but players with bad contracts, I'm not just going to flip them and get nothing, nothing like that, so this still will be a realistic my GM, I'm just not going to be doing little trades like I was doing in the Especially in my Kings one. In, in my Kings one, I barely made any trades. I was pretty much just building through free agency in the draft. So, we're going to go ahead and spice that up just, just a little bit. But, yo, I think it's crazy how the New York Knicks, man, I do want to take control of them and try to get them to the promised land. Try to build them up a dynasty because I feel like they've missed out on so many opportunities, especially in this past uh, draft. They chose Frank over Dennis Smith Jr., over Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, no one knew Kyle Kuzma was going to be good. Nobody really knew that Donald Mitchell would have this kind of impact, but they chose him over Dennis, and Dennis has been killing it. So, yo, let me know what you guys think about this series. Give me y'all suggestions down in the comment section below. I really want to hear y'all's opinions on this series, and, yo, who should we trade for? Who should we, we be targeting? All kinds of stuff like that. Like I said, Chris Dobbs is untouchable. We're not even looking to move him. We are probably going to be bringing back Ines Cancer. And maybe Michael Beasley, we can trade Tim Hardaway, may maybe in the future. But, but, but right now, they, they just pay the man. And no one wants Courtney Lee's contract. But anyways, heading into the league meetings, we're going to leave the NBA alone. Unless there's one that says that players can come in the NBA at 18 next season, we'll probably go ahead and allow that. But heading into the draft lottery, we are looking to get the 8th overall pick. And I'm just hoping and praying that we don't get that thing. We're going to go ahead and speed this up. And man... I'm just so happy. This is the first time in such a long time. I am pumped to put out a My GM video. And it looks like we get so much more than the eighth pick. We actually come up with the third pick. So we got so lucky in this draft lotto. Walked away with the third overall pick, which means we have some options here, man. We have some options here. Personally, I would I would love to be able to pick up Michael Porter Jr. Uh, but taking him with the third pick in real life, we still got to look at this from a realistic standpoint. Will the Knicks really be willing to actually do that? Obviously, we aren't looking at, at Bagley or, or, or anything. But as far as our coaching staff goes, we actually signed Dirk Nowitzki. Now, I know that Dirk probably would not want to be a coach. But, hey, man, who better to coach the, the unicorn than someone like Dirk Nowitzki? And 
Yo, man, I think Dirk would be the perfect man, so we're in the perfect coach to, to teach Chris Stops poor Zingas. So let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, right now, we are heading into pre-draft workouts. We're going to be looking at DeAndre Ayton, uh, Mohamed Bamba. Yeah, what if we get DeAndre Ayton? Then, then we have two unicorns on this team. Personally, I, I'm looking at wing players and guards. That's pretty much what, what what I'm looking at, or like a center. Obviously, I'm not looking on. I'm not looking at Jaron Jackson or Bagley. We have Chris Ops, but my number one player that I would like to get is Michael Porter Jr. I think he's gonna be disgusting. And if we take him with the overall pick, that's pretty much a project. That's pretty much taking a chance. But hey, man, the Knicks have been known to take a few chances. Chris Ops, they kind of took a chance there. They took a chance with Frank Nealakina, and even though it, so far it hasn't really worked out. Yo, taking Michael Porter, I compare him to somebody like Kevin Durant. I got him in my Dallas Mavericks, my GM. And I, I think that he's perfect from this team. Now, no, now, another player that would be great that's probably going number one overall is DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Ayton, they're calling him a unicorn. This man is Dwight Howard with a three. He he can pull the three. Uh, some, some other players that I am going to be looking at is players like Colin Sexton, Trey Young. Uh, players like that, if I decide to trade down... And I, and I want to get a point guard. So those those guys are there. And even with my second round pick, because, of course, I do have a second round pick. Um, I will look at a player like Trayvon Duvall. Or maybe if I trade to the end of the first round, pick up another first round pick, a late first round pick. Maybe I look at somebody coming out of high school in Anthony Simmons. I mean, yes, we have a lot of yards here. But personally, I don't feel like Frank is the guy. That's just how I personally feel. Let me know what you guys think about this series. This was the introduction episode. So next episode, we will be going through the NBA draft. So, yo, comment down below who we should draft in the comment section below. Personally, I want to go Michael Porter Jr., but a lot of people probably want to go DeAndre Aiden. Personally, I think he's gonna be gone at number one. But yo, just let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to, if you guys want me to get Trey Young, Colin Sexton, um, Luka Doncic, I haven't really mentioned him a lot. But just let me know what you guys think about this series. Like I said, 210 likes for episode number two. And this series is going to be a banger. I'm so psyched for this My GM series. And don't worry. Rebuilds every single day. Your boy's going to be rebuilding a team. So, hey, man. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it up. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said before. And I'll see you guys in, in the NBA draft. Peace, yo. 17 with four babies, yeah. A lot of money, know they hate me, yeah. Want them for the try to play me, yeah. Shoot his ass right up in here. Diamonds, they shine like a headlight. I keep that little bitch up a head right. I'm a little bit.